Welcome back. In our previous videos, we walked through using Excel to do quantitative analysis of data. Using the value added exercise for module six, and I know that we're in module five, I apologize. Uh, and using the LibQual 2004 open data, we were able to do some analysis uh, of that data quantitatively um, in order to answer some questions. This exercise, we're actually going to use Excel to do analysis of qualitative data, so open-ended responses to a question, um, and use that analysis to identify themes. We can still do that in Excel once we've uh, identified some common themes. As you read in some of the articles uh, in this week's, this module's assignment, um, there are a couple of ways to do that thematic analysis. One is by supplying or having a preset um, group of themes that would all responses would then be categorized or coded into those. Um, the second would be to have essentially an open um, theme identification. As you read through the comments, um, the person who's reading through them would create their own theme based upon the comments that they're reading. And then once they've completed the analysis, they might look for commonalities uh, among the themes and decide if they wanted to combine them or not. But the idea is a preset group of themes or created as you analyze themes. Uh, we're actually going to do something that's sort of a combination of both. It's mostly preset. So if you look at the qual content analysis file, you'll see that we have uh, text responses from an open-ended question, what would improve your library experience? I have added here the information that you see on the uh, value-added exercise too. The most common themes for this type of service survey are spaces, technology, staff, food, services, or collections. It is not necessarily going to get all of the comments, but again, these are the most common groupings themes for this type of survey. So as we look at this, I've added those at the top of the, um, as new columns in this data set so that we can then read through the comments. The, the way that you determine where a comment fits in a qualitative way, I'm going to read through this comment and say, which one or many of these themes does this comment address? So a coffee shop would be the perfect addition. Ah, that's food, so I put a one here. Also, the library needs to be quieter. That's space. Students are very loud, and the staff does not ask them to be quiet. The staff do not enforce anyone to lower their voices. So that's a comment about staff. So here in this single comment, I've actually identified three themes that are addressed by the response to this particular comment. Um, you'll see the comment here on line four, uh, a cafe in the library. Okay, that's clearly food, so I've put a one here. It could be that there are, um, something is mentioned twice that relates to any one theme within the same comment, and that's okay, then we would just add a two. So if we look now at the qual content analysis answers file, you can see this is this has been completely coded um, with all of the numbers uh, that I have, have added here. What I did not add was any new themes, so I didn't identify anything in analysis of these comments that I thought, that, that really needs to be another theme. Um, that's just the way that I did it. Again, this is qualitative, so it's much less uh, precise or exacting, and I'm not requiring that you actually only use these six themes. I'm going to give, you know, you have the freedom to do that. You're going to do this exercise on a separate data set, by the way. So we've got all of these added up. Now, my quest is to determine what are the three greatest or most frequently identified themes. So I can go about that a couple of ways. I can write down theme one has 11 comments. Uh, related to it. Theme 2, technology, has 4, and I'm just looking at the sum. So in the case of spaces, you'll notice here I've got two. So two separate comments related to space within this single text response. Uh, theme 3, so I'm going to write that down. So 
I can just write all the answers down and then answer the question. Or I can go back to a pivot table. So I select all my data. I insert a pivot table using that data in a new worksheet. And now I want to look at, I actually want to look at all of these together, but I don't want the count. I actually want the sum. So I'm going to bring down each one of the themes and then change it to a sum. Value field setting, sum, four is food, and we're going to change that to sum, five is services, and six is collections. So sum. So I now have all the sum of all of the coding for each one of the themes all on one sheet. So as I look at this, well, it's got my information, but it's not organized particularly well. So let's drag this values, which is in columns. Let's drag that over to rows. And now I can see that I have got all of my themes in order and the sum of their comments. Now, if I want to do a little ad additional manipulation with this, I'm going to have to copy it out of the pivot table and paste it. So I can then do some other analysis. So I want to look at the sum of all of these, and this is total comments around themes. It's not the total number of comments, because remember we had 36 respondents and not all of them replied, and in some cases we had multiple comments around a theme within one textual response from a user. So if we look at this, I'm just going to highlight that a little bit so we can take it out. Now, if I want to organize these from greatest to least, I can now see that my top three themes from greatest to least are food, spaces, and technology. I want to carry this out just a little bit farther, I can look at the percentage of responses. So as I talk about analysis, I want to do that analysis in percentages. And I should have made that. I'm just going to say 31. B16 divided by B20. Apologies. A little bit more. So there is a way to have an absolute variable, which I should have done um, in order to accomplish that. Now I want to select these and go back up to home. I'm going to choose percentage. And now all of these are percentages. So again, when I want to talk about this in a narrative form, I'm going to want to talk about the percentages of responses. So my top three, if I want to do a summary, you can see here's a sample summary. Here is my the data that I just finished, and it looks more like a table, which you could include in a sample write-up depending on what sort of report you're working on. But you can see the top three areas for improvement for the library based on patron responses are food, space and technology in that order. 
Then what you want to talk about is, so 42% of the responses were about food. And refer to the comments in particular, what is it about food? Maybe they're asking for coffee, um, requesting a cafe, more snack options, later hours of uh, food offering. Um, and again, next popular suggestion was about space. What about space? Is it too cold? Is it too hot? Is there, do you need quiet? Do we need group study? What are the things going on there? And then what were the uh, mentions about technology? Uh, anyone can see there were four, there were only four comments. So what generally were those and describe those? Um, and that would be an example of a sample write-up. So what I'd like you to do for this exercise is actually complete using this libqual plus comments file. Complete this same analysis. You starting with those same six themes and do a sample write-up for the responses in that file. Um, and if you would upload that to the discussion postings, then uh, we will all get to learn from one another. Thanks so much. This has been a lot of fun.